Are we wearing the same exact outfit? Not really. I mean, green top, white, light white shorts. Green, your different shade. Let me just preface by saying the past few days have been insane. I've been out of the house like all day, driving around, doing things, and <laughs> so yesterday I had to do a shoot for a sponsored post, so we drove to Malibu and we're planning to just be at Malibu for one second and then we came home and I forgot that we had to do... I thought you were getting a drink. I did. That's all you wanted? Well, I like this brand. Do you know about these? Yeah, you, didn't you get those before at uh, the French place in the group? Mm-hmm. I like these. I didn't feel like making you wait forever. Oh, I don't mind. What's that? This look cool. Peruvian raw cacao nectar bar with sprouted almonds. Sounds kind of good. Sounds like it could be not good. The car is so loud. Can, is there a way to turn that off? <laughs> like, does everybody need to know that we're backing up? <laughs> Anyways, we had to come back to Malibu because I forgot that I needed to show the products in some of the pictures and I couldn't post a picture at the beach and then just have the products like sitting out like I wanted it to be cute so we had to like get in the car right after waking up and drive back to Malibu. <clears throat> Luckily it's only like 25 minutes from us but it's still quite a task. So we are currently in Malibu. Stop to get Jace a sparkling water or this a sparkling a tea. Sparkling herba mate. Just oh. And half of the proceeds go to help like Addiction. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's to my... support recovery from alcohol and drug addiction. That's really cool. It's one of my favorite companies. Did you hear that Selena Gomez, uh, her cosmetics beauty brand is um, pledging to, what is it? Pledging to, like, what is it called? Raise a hundred million dollars in ten years for mental health. Wow. That's pretty cool. Very cool. That's really cool. Anyways, we're gonna go back home. I've got so much to do today, even though now I feel like half the day is gone, but it's still morning. Still my coffee. Like they do in the movies. Look. <laughs> it's not working like it does in the movies. I just look bald. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's some waves. Pretty. All right, I'm done trying to get a clip of the ocean because this is what my hair looks like now. Village your words with a fork and spoon and look. What's that? Catching waves on the coastline soon. Beach catch boys. A, catch a wave <laughs> sitting on top of the world. Okay, so we're back home. I did my makeup because I was going to take some photos today. But I am sitting down now to work on some things. But I wanted to take a second to talk about the creator course bundle that I was hinting at in last week's vlog. And now it's here. So I'm going to chat your ear off for a second. I just wanted to have somewhere where I could kind of sit down and explain more in detail. Because I feel like just posting on Instagram and stories, it's not really coming across like everything that I want to say about it. So let's, let's just chat about it for a second. If you don't follow me on Instagram or you have no idea what I'm talking about, the Creator Course Bundle is something that a bunch of creators came together to create. Um, it's a bundle of, I think it's over 30, I know it's over 30, I think it might be 33 different courses, ebooks, guides, worksheets, different resources that will help you with your online business, whether that's becoming a creator yourself or if you're an entrepreneur, you want to be an entrepreneur, if you have a business already and you need help with things online. Um, I had the example, somebody asked me if it would work um, because they're a yoga teacher or a musician and it's literally for everybody and I want to chat about it because it's something I'm super passionate about. So really quick, I'm just going to peek at my screen and read off a few that I think are really cool. 
um, and kind of go over some of them. So there's an ebook on podcasts where you can learn how to create a podcast, how to market your podcast, how to make money on your podcast, and things like that. There's a mini course by my friend Quigley who actually put all of this together that includes um, how marketing campaigns work, when you need a manager, how to get brands to work with you, and all things like that. She also has a TikTok for dummies guide, which is really cool. There's a guide by Julie Solomon about uh, five-step goal planning, her five-step goal planning method. Basically all about planning and how to set your goals and plan to reach your goals and things like that. There's a ton, a ton, a ton of things about uh, video editing, photo editing, all for beginners, so don't be nervous about it. It's very uh, user-friendly. One of the courses that I myself am going through right now is called Go Viral, Get Paid by Molly Ho. The way she set this up is really cool. It's so in-depth. I would love to create my own course this way in the future. It's basically all about Instagram and how to, you know, set up your Instagram for success, pretty much. Hers even has like little worksheets and stuff. How to build a digital empire by the female hustlers. That's a workbook. How to do an email blast is on here by Micah Nicole. The Confidence Masterclass is something I'm super excited. I haven't taken that one yet, but I am so excited about taking that one. Something I need some help with. I'm not the most confident person. How to build a blog, how to do Instagram stories, Google Analytics. I have a background in marketing, so Google Analytics can be your worst nightmare ever. So this, um, this course is a must-have if you're working in that. The Contract Vault, which is uh, a course about like legal, <laughs> the legal end of things and how to make sure your contracts are great. Instagram for small business, Facebook ads, uh, Master Your Business Finances, another really great one to have because being self-employed, your finances are like, they can be so confusing as far as taxes go and QuickBooks and all of that. How to come up with good Instagram captions. I haven't taken this one yet either, but I could definitely use some help there. I'm always like last minute, what am I even trying to say? Um, ebook writing, selling your ebook, uh, more Facebook ads, my little guide there at the bottom, and a how-to guide on create taking photos of yourself, pretty much like self-timer. So those are what is included. They go a lot more in depth on the website, which I'll have it linked down below. Um, I just wanted to say that this was such a cool opportunity and I'm so like honored to be a part of it in that uh, my friend Quigley had me on board with all the other amazing creators here. I just was thinking back when I kind of realized, like I've been on Instagram for a very long time, but when I finally realized that it could be a job for me, I immediately dove into it and was like, okay, I want to do this as my job. Like I started to make a little bit of money here and there and I was like, I could totally do this and have so much fun with it full time. So I remember being at my marketing job. I was a marketing director and I was just like at work hating my job. I did not like the company I worked for. Some of you remember, but I would sit there and be like, okay, what can I do? What do I need? What like, what can I do pretty much? And there was no resources out there like this. I had no idea where to start. People weren't the friendliest. Like if you would reach out to some um, influencers or other people in the space, the beauty space they were hesitant to like give their secrets or share what equipment they were using and I've just never like aligned with that and so this was such a cool thing to come together because now that I'm on the other side and mm -hmm. I actually work in the space I can share like all the things that I've learned and pretty much taught myself which is really cool. I feel like I'm rambling. Sorry if, if it's coming across that way. I'm just like thinking off the top of my head. That was something that was really um, important to me when I, you know, learned a lot more. And I've always talked about wanting to do my own course or do something where I could teach how to edit videos or how to, like how I personally edit or, you know, the things that I use. And that's why I came out with presets because I used to get asked a lot like how I edit, so I did the presets. I would just love to teach everything that I've learned, and so coming together with all these creators has been a really, really cool opportunity. Not just a cool opportunity for me, obviously, but for anybody who's out there watching, anybody who follows any of us, um, to take advantage of this amazing opportunity. It is um, $99 for all of these courses. Uh, I have a highlight on my Instagram like story highlight where I saved a bunch of 
answers to your questions that you had on Instagram about them, but feel free to reach out to me in DMs if I didn't answer that or comment here on YouTube. It is a value of over $7,000 even like I'm looking right now. The retail price like what some of these creators uh, sell their courses for usually. Um, we have one here like your business finances that one is $500 on its own. The contract one you pay for that one monthly $120 a month. Another one courses for creators $500. Google Analytics course $500. I understand the price of that one to be honest Google Analytics can be a nightmare um, Instagram story blueprint $300 so these are all very expensive courses because they're so well thought out and just pouring so much knowledge into the course but it's available like all of them in a bundle for $99 a one-time price and you have them for life you can rewatch them as many times as you want you have the ebooks for life you can download them keep them print them out whatever you want to do so I'm just really excited about it I don't mean to ramble um, I do need to get back to work. I'm working on some Halloween stuff. I'm doing, um, something different this year. I feel like every year I add, like, a little, I like, spice things up a little bit, do something a little bit different. So this year I'm doing something to include other people, um, not collabs, really. I mean, you could cut, um, I'll save the details. I'm basically making, like, a reel or, like, a mock-up video example and jace <laughs> jace has to be the person to like be the other person that i would be like using in the video so i'm gonna put a wig and some lipstick on him just so like you know to just add to the vibe of everything and then i'm gonna make this real so i will show you guys when i um pick out his wig and his lipstick and that should be coming up right now Hey Bean, would you rather have candy corn for teeth or be wrapped up like a mummy? How long do I have to be a mummy? For the rest of the time. Candy corn is teeth. my teeth are candy? Well, that would last a bit, a couple seconds because I just eat them all. I love candy corn. What is your stance right now? Your arm? <laughs> are you ready to get dressed up for this video? I'm getting dressed up. I told you, you have to put on a wig and lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I'm missing out on some quality content here, even though I'm eating and Jace is sitting over in the corner. Would you rather have candy corn in his teeth or... Or bugles his fingernails. I don't... I feel like nobody knows what bugles are anymore. I think... Wasn't that like a 90s thing? Are they popular bugles? No. When was the last time you had bugles? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's been a while. No. Bugles? Well, you wear them on your finger like a witch. They look like little witch heads. Yeah, but it's not a hol like that's not a Halloween food. That's a year-round <laughs> food in the '90s. I think you're make taking this a little bit too literally. This is just a Halloween questionnaire well, for fun. The best possible. It's the best possible. But you want it to be weird enough where both of them are like, I don't want either of those, but you have to choose. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did you dress me up Why as? Why are you looking at me all what, creepy? What did you dress me up as? I only look creepy because of the outfit you put on me. <laughs> Let's get a full... We've got the mini mouse ears. The witchy wig and... I don't even understand who I am. It's the last day of the vlog. What do we got here? Don't look at my shirt. <laughs> did you spill? Mm-hmm. I hope it Picked up my mom some, uh, what was it called? Crab cakes. Craven, Craven crab cakes. Mar Maryland. Maryland's, I'll list their Instagram. It, she says it's very, very good. It's a little food truck. What's your favorite <coughs> part? Oh my goodness. Eating. Well, I mean, what's your favorite? The mm. crab or the? The crab's good. What is it? Crab cake? What mm -hmm. does that mean? It's lump crab with, um, I don't know, seasoning and usually some kind of breading. I don't like seafood. I don't eat meat anyways, but my mom and I went to return one item to the store and we end up leaving with way more than we plan on getting. 
about five hundred dollars of stuff. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna show what I got. Our stores over here are open because they're not in malls. They're like freestanding stores, and we went in because they're right next to each other. And I got this hat. I didn't show you this because you were you left the store, but. Oh, cute. I don't know if I like can pull this off. That, you need a bow. Do I look like a 90s kid? That's cute. Yeah, let me just get my uh, boat and fishing. What is it called? The fishing pole. Is that what it's called? Yes, dear. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm like an airhead. Okay, I also picked up this tank top. I just like how everything looks like 90s right now and 80s kind of. Did you see this one? Yeah, that's really cute. It's kind of like low on the side. I thought that mm -hmm. was cute. Kind of crocheted. Mm-hmm. I used to be able to crochet back in my day. Not anymore. Picked up this little summery crop top. Someone's doing some yard work out there. Oh, I got another oversized shirt because these, I just live in these. I wear these every day, right, Mom? Mm, yes, ma'am. You can't even see how. Let me see which one it is. Nirvana. Cute. That's okay, like around the time you were born when I was listening to that. Yes, that would be 1992. Mm hmm. And then the last thing I got, I had no business getting because it is the middle of summer, but it was too cute to not. First of all, it's way too hot to be wearing this right now. Okay, so this zips up all the way. Cute. And then it has these little bungee poles on it, which I thought were cute. And they also have them down here. So you could tighten this and make it, like, cropped. And it's so cozy and comfy because it's corduroy. Is that what this is called? Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. This is my Hailey Bieber outfit, by the way. Um, I'll be posting my picture on Instagram later this week. Style steal. Okay, this is where I went to return something and then I left with, I don't even know what. This skirt, I don't even know. I was thinking of making it, like wearing it with some cute boots and maybe a cut off band shirt or like a oversized sweater. Even the shirt's cute. What do you think? That's really cute. I got this and this could like go really poorly for me. I don't think I showed you this one either, Mom. This is actually a romper. And the back is cut out. I don't know if you could tell. I think you'd have to wear a belt with that. Yeah, you definitely have to wear a belt because this would just look like a huge diaper on me. <laughs> but it could be really cute with a belt. And the girl at the store said they were really popular. So I got that. Realizing I got way too many things. We picked up these because we're gonna try and tie-dye them and make them like little matching set for my mom and I. So it's a pantsuit halter top situation. And the pants are like super flowy and big. We're gonna try and tie-dye that and see what happens. Hopefully we don't ruin them. Oh, there's more. It never ends. What happened? I swear I'm on a no buy and then I go in one store and it's like, well, I got this cute tank top. And it's like lower here and the back's cute because it has the little seam down the back. They also have this in like an off-white and a black. I also picked up this. You know they always get you at the front where they have like sunglasses and all that. So this is an oversized bow scrunchie. Let's see what she looks like. How does it look? It's really cute. Mm hmm. We should have got more colors. Mm hmm. I always get asked about my like head wraps that I wear, and it's always from one of these scrunchies. Not necessarily this oversized one, but you just untie this and pull this part out, and then you can tie it around your head. They had so many colors of that. I'll try and link all this stuff below too. I got a couple necklaces. I won't bore you with that. So that was the haul for today, the accidental haul. I am really on a no buy. And, um, oh, well, no buy except for like Halloween things that I'm working on, but I, I don't know what happened. Sometimes you just go in a store, and it, I think it's because we aren't allowed to like leave the house that often. 
I mean, not allowed, like, we just aren't leaving the house that often, so when you, like, get out and finally, like, go somewhere, you're like, ooh. I'm gonna have to put all those things away now in a second, but I wanted to share a funny story. And we need Jace to be involved because it's just his story to tell. But he's working, so we're gonna bother him. What are you talking about? Are you working on your shrimp fried rice music video yes amazing can we can i sit here <laughs> yeah. can you tell the story about what we're doing tonight oh uh, no <laughs> well I, they were advertising a concert a driving concert for the um who is it blake someone your mom's country people <laughs> my mom was listening to blake shelton in the shower and um, I came back in here and I was like, oh, she's listening to Blake Shelton in the shower. And Jace is like, oh, he's playing a concert. Yeah, they were advertising a concert. So there were like no, it was like almost sold out. So it's like, I'll just buy the ticket. And then I bought the ticket and then I realized that it wasn't a concert. It was just a video of It's a concert. basically a drive-in. But like it was a drive-in like, movie. But, but it was like over $100. For yeah. a video of a concert of, I know one song, Honky Tonk Badonk Donk. That's it. You know Hell Right? Hell Right. I heard that <laughs> one. So basically, he paid over a hundred bucks for us to go sit in the car and watch a video of Blake Shelton. Who else? Blake Shelton, Gwen Stefani, and Trace Adkins. Yeah. So we're going to try and make the best of it and have a good time. Do you like it? Oh, that's cute. I told you what's the back. It is cute. I like it. We were just talking about Jace buying the concert tickets on accident. It was, but such a sweet, sweet thought. Yeah, it was. It'll be fun. It'll we'll be have fun. fun. We're gonna bring some snacks, bring an ice chest with some Topo Chico in oh, it. I have my cooler. Yeah, we could bring your cooler. We need to clean out the back seat of the car because you'll be in the back seat. Maybe a little mud wrap for the mine. What's that? Weed. Since, since when, since when do you smoke weed is what I want to know. Occasionally. I told you that story about her smoking weed in like 2008 in the garage on Christmas. Spit out her whole drink because she started laughing and no one said anything like she just started laughing. Um, boys, quit it, quit it, quit it, quit it, quit it, quit it, quit it. I will, I'm just saving Ozzy because Rue is biting his tail. Hi, baby. So anyways, apparently my mom smokes weed now. <laughs> um, that's news to all of us. I cannot smoke weed because I will flip out. The last time I tried to smoke weed, like in high school, mm -mm. no, 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 not for me. Bean, guess what? What? You know how my stomach was hurting earlier? Yes. I found the perfect cure. Perfect. What's it? Shopping. I went into the store, came out, no stomach ache. Wow. None. I need to do that. So next time I'm not feeling well, maybe try online shopping. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you you shop a lot and you are always sick, so I don't know if it really works out that way. Don't ever come at me like that again. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I should have the vlog edited before we go to this concert, I really feel like I'm gonna need to include the concert in the vlog because who goes to a Blake Shelton concert in your car? Um, I have no idea what it's gonna be like, but we'll find out. Before we go to the concert, I need to eat something. I haven't eaten in almost, well, I mean, I had some toast. Ouch, it's really hot. I made some good old 50 cent top ramen soy sauce flavor. Guess I'll let that cool. Because I've had a stomach ache for the past 24 hours. I think it's because I ate too much chili. But I'm going to try and eat and see if I feel better. Alright, we're at the Blake Shelton event. Jace went to get me some french fries because my stomach's hurting. Um, do you want to share your experience at all? Experience with a vehicle? Because that's been an eye opener. Let's start by saying that Jace led us to believe that you couldn't bring any battery discharge warning. Please use the system. Oops. 
it disappears, just lets my car, continue. We just don't know how to use my car apparently, but Jace told us you can bring anything, no food or drinks really, or we brought like water and a little bit of snacks. But or no. chairs. Yeah, he said you can bring anything. And then we get here, and I'll show you in a second if you can still see that every, literally everybody has a table and chairs set out of their car because you have your own like parking area. And um, my mom Ubered to go get a White Claw. Can't go to a music concert without alcohol. Thank you very much. I don't drink. Unless so. you're Ashley. <laughs> so I've got my water here. Well, she couldn't um, go without a Topo Chico, so. No, but water's allowed everywhere. My car radio <laughs> won't stay on. It keeps saying, that, like, you have to start the car. But when you start the car, the lights won't turn off, the fog lights, so we're like blinding people. And then meanwhile, the brake lights are also on, uh, bright red to the people behind us, so. It should be quite a fun experience. Uh, Blake has not come on yet, however, we did just listen to Parmalee. And um, this is what our view is like. Wait, let's go back to Parmalee. What are we going back is to? Is that guy the hottest? you've ever seen. I mean, he tears up Blake. And not Blake. Blake and, well, Luke. Oopsie. Luke, who everybody no is. No so. way. Luke, I think Luke Bryan is hotter. After No, you just you just said he wasn't. Well, yeah, but truly I'm blind, so I can't see the screen. But you when I looked up, I looked up pictures of him. Watch this. Sir, we he's, just had this discussion. He's hot, but is oh my he gosh. hotter than Blake or yes. than Luke Bryan? Absolutely, one hundred percent. Let's see if this will focus. Yeah. Is he hotter than Luke Bryan? I don't know. And you didn't see him up there with the arms, bare arms. I don't like big muscular. Oh, I do. <laughs> do you have any final words? Let's hope the lights stay off and the car stays on. This is truly, I just, why do things like this happen to us? Are we stupid? Go off, Blake. Hello, everybody. Welcome from, Hello, I cutie guess, Canada, pie. all the way down to Texas and everywhere Simmer in between. Down, that white cloth went right to the head. To my very first no, so ever drive-in theater concert. Thank y'all so much Look for coming out face. here tonight. I know this is crazy. I know it's weird, but hey, this is this is 2020, and I guess that's how we're going to roll this year. So, reminder: keep your asses six feet away from me. Don't even look at me. Let's have some fun with this thing tonight, man. Come on, this is country music. Money maker. Why do you try? 